Welcome to Crimson Guitars. We're going to talk about the nut and adjusting it and getting the correct action. It is absolutely essential, no matter what else you've done on an instrument, that the action and the final playing is absolutely perfect or as close as you can get to that. Now, as well as obviously affecting the action and how a guitar feels. Your nut is one of two sides that affects the intonation. If you're using a buzz fighting system for example the nut is brought slightly closer to the bridge and there's all sorts of scientific adjustments that they have calculated that does bring you a more in tune instrument. However by mistake a poorly cut nut can have the exact same effect. If you rock around too much with your file inside the nut and go backwards and forwards, instead of having the string leave the nut where it is supposed to, it, will, it might leave it further back, thus giving you a slightly longer string. If you've got a slightly longer string, the intonation point will be moved from where it should be above the 12th fret. So the very first thing to be aware of is that you need to be absolutely positive of where you are cutting with your tool. Uh, the width of the slot obviously is also incredibly important. You, you don't want to have your string sitting in a bath and going like that because that will create a buzz and there's nothing more annoying than that. A way to check for this is just use your thumbnail, put your nail right at the end of the nut where it leaves and goes towards the bridge and sound your string. And if it sounds different, if, if the buzzing stops, then that's what's happened, you've got a poorly cut slot. Uh, you don't have to go out and buy a full on set of 20 nuts slotting files etc. Uh, three or four will do it. It's actually good practice to start with a file that is slightly smaller than the string that will be going into that slot and you rock sideways a little bit and that means that one your file isn't going to get stuck in its own slot and two it's got much more gentle curves as the string goes in which will give you less breakages basically. The another rule is that you don't want the string to be more than half submerged in the nut. This is all about tuning and you don't want the nut to start binding around the string and causing tuning problems again. The use of the tool obviously, I do have nut slotting files, however in a standard needle file set you can often find small triangular files and rat tails etc. If you're just doing one you will probably be able to get away with that. I don't even use a file for my thinner strings. I use a little razor saw which is the perfect perfect width and gives me a little bit more control over those strings. In fact when I'm marking my nut when I'm marking the string spacing out I will mark the first cut with this because it is very thin and very precise. The That's about it really, other than the theory of making sure that you know exactly what you're doing with your tools and being very careful that you don't uh, A cut a gouge in the fretboard or the headstock. Uh, that is pretty much what you're doing. You want a slight angle where the string meets the nut, it will then go down and you want that angle so that the string always leaves at the front edge of the nut. And that is, that's it. Good luck. Before you even think about cutting the first nut slot, you need to make sure that the basic action and intonation is set up as close as it can be. Every guitar is different and obviously the depth of each slot 
is different from the one next to it because of the string gauge and you also need to take into account the tuning that you're going to use. For example, if the guitar is permanently drop D or lower, you will have more vibration on your bass string than if it was tuned in E. So make sure your guitar is tuned up to pitch and commence. Now, the depth of slot also changes depending on the size of the fret. If you're using super jumbo frets, then your strings need to be higher above them. Some people use feeler gauges to work out the height that they need to be and then work to that. And if you hold your metal feeler gauge against the nut as you're cutting it, you are guaranteed not to go too deep, which is always a good thing. However, I do it all by feel. As each instrument and each string is different, you want it to be as low as possible without buzzing so that it feels like butter in your hands as you play. The, as you can see with this string here, it's very high and if you've got to put too much pressure on it as you push down, you're also effectively changing the length of the string that you play and that is where you can set the intonation while the string is open and it will be perfect. But as soon as you put all that pressure on, you're pulling the string out of that intonation point and it will be out of tune all along the neck and only in tune at the open string. There is another general rule that some people believe will help you work out how deep your slot needs to be and that is you hold each string down at the third fret and it should just clear the first. It should just not be touching the first fret. Now that is again, it's a general rule. I do believe though that uh, just touching it down as you go with your finger you, and sounding the note gets you a much more accurate feel of how the whole instrument will feel in the end. And uh, it's, as with anything in luthiery and guitar building, it's about very small changes done slowly. This way you will end up with, hopefully, the perfectly cut nut slot and uh, from there all of your tuning and action problems are elsewhere. Good luck.